Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean Anthony here, and if you wanna learn how to get to 10K per month in 90 days, I'm gonna show you an exact roadmap to doing that. This roadmap has just three simple steps. I know that sounds clickbaity, but these three things, if you focus on it for 90 days and you do only these three things, you can get to that five figure per month mark pretty quickly if you focus only on this, okay? So this is actually a live training that I did in my Facebook group. It's a free Facebook group on how to grow a six figure digital services business. If you wanna join that group, I'll link to it below. But yeah, this is a live training I did a couple weeks ago and I think you're gonna like it if you're wondering how to get to 10K per month selling services as quickly as possible. So let's jump into it right now. Hey team, so in this video, I'm gonna go over how to start and scale a services business to five figures per month in 90 days. Now, if you watched my video yesterday and last week, I covered steps one and two already. So step number one, pick a premium service that is tied to growth and tied to revenue that clients are gonna pay you four figures per month for. Pick a service and find a white label provider. I covered that last week. Yesterday, I created a video on how to get clients for free by sending simple social media messages on platforms like cold email, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram, right? So in this video, I'm gonna piece it all together for you. I'm gonna actually break down the math and show you the roadmap to a five figure per month business and how you can get there in 90 days using the actual numbers that come from our agency, right? The actual numbers of outflow. And I'll talk about what that means in a second here, okay? So let's just go and review this real quick. Number one, you wanna pick a service. This is step number one. You need to pick a service that you wanna offer that's directly tied to revenue or growth that is recurring and that can be productized where every client gets the same thing, the same deliverables, same steps, right? So let's just say LinkedIn, because I we offer LinkedIn. I'm always gonna use that in our examples. And our base package is $1,500 per month. Okay, so we're offering LinkedIn as our service. That's our service. We're offering it to a specific vertical or industry, which is B2B SaaS companies. And we're gonna go out to the market now and get clients for free. So how do you do that? Well, if you watched my video yesterday, it's a very simple sequence of messages. And then you build a list of your ideal clients, your ideal prospects, and you can contact them on platforms like cold email, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Now here's where the magic happens, okay? It's not glamorous, actually. It's not sexy. It's just knowing your numbers and sending out enough outflow. What is outflow? Well, outflow is the amount of activities that you're doing on a daily basis, right? How many emails are you sending? How many phone calls are you making? Even though we don't do cold calling too much, right? But how many LinkedIn messages are you sending? How many Facebook messages are you sending? How many Instagram messages are you sending? Now, if you're not happy with your inflow, which is your money made and your clients and your leads and appointments, then most of the time, it's because you are not putting enough outflow into it. So I see people all the time saying cold email is dead or this and that is dead. And I ask them, how many have you sent? How many LinkedIn messages have you sent? Oh, I've only sent maybe like 24 of them. Well, that's not enough, right? That's not enough of a sample size to make a decision that something doesn't work, right? So if you're not happy with your inflow, a lot of times it has to do with the amount of outflow you're doing, how many activities you're doing, okay? So I'm gonna use numbers, metrics from our agency, growth response, and let's just break it down here, okay? So 2,000 pieces of outflow per month. That's cold emails, LinkedIn messages, Facebook or Instagram messages, right? If we're sending out 2,000 per month, that's 67 to 100 daily pieces of outflow. Now, what do we get out of that? We see usually around anywhere from a one to 3% meeting book rate or lead rate, right? So out of 2,000 pieces we send out, we're gonna see around 20 leads or appointments per month. Okay. We are closing around 25% of those people into paying clients, but I'm just going to cut that in half. Let's just say that our conversion rate is 10% or 15%, right? That means two to three clients per month. Now, if I use the two clients per month uh, number here, that means we're adding $3,000 per month. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we do this for three months, and everything kind of stays consistent, right? You're, you're sending out 2,000 pieces of outflow per month and you know everything fluctuates now and then, but let's just use these numbers as a guideline, okay? You're sending out 2,000 pieces of outflow every single month and you're getting two to three clients per month. I don't know how to move this thing, um, uh, but you're adding $3,000 every single month. In three months, you would be at $9,000 per month. Now, if you had three clients per month, that would mean 4,500 added every month, which means you would be at 9,000, over 10,000 per month, right? So there you go. That's the math to getting to five figures per month in a service business in 90 days. If you have something that costs $1,500 a month, 
this is how the math would break down, right? And the most important key thing you wanna remember here is the outflow, right? Are you sending enough pieces of outflow every single day? If you're not, you're not gonna see the results, right? I always talk about quantity before quality, right? You can't optimize the quality of something if you haven't tested it out first and get, gotten feedback from it, right? So if you've only sent out 20 emails and you're not getting a response, that's not a big enough sample size, okay? So you need to send out enough outflow, then you can get, you can make optimizations and changes to your systems and processes based on what's working or not working, okay? So what do you do once you get clients? Well, the number one way to die in your business is to do all of this yourself, right? Is to pick a service, get clients, and then do the delivery for every one of those clients, right? That's the fastest way to burn out and just lose your business, right? So what do you want to do? Well, I want you to think of your business, at least in the beginning, as a middleman. This is how we started, right? So we, we worked with a different company and we worked with a software that would automate all the work for us and we'd pay a fee for that, right? What did that allow us to do? It allowed us to, to grow and scale quicker where we're not doing all the work ourselves. We're not doing the actual delivery ourselves, right? So if you just wanna be the practitioner who does everything in the business, you wanna be a glorified freelancer, then just disregard what I said here. But if you wanna be the business owner, you wanna grow the business, you want you know some time in your life where you're not doing work, um, the best way to do that is to find a way to outsource your delivery. And the first thing I recommend you do, if you're brand new and you don't have any skills in the service you're delivering, just find a white label provider. And you can do that by watching my one of my videos last week. Just Google search it, or you can use Upwork, or you can just look at reviews of other companies that provide the service and just mark up the price. Okay, that's the easiest way to do it. Once you've solved for, you've picked your service, you've solved for client acquisition, right? You're getting clients for free using methods, it's working, you're sending out enough outflow, you're getting enough leads and appointments and clients every month, let's just say two to three clients per month, and you've gotten delivery worked out, right? Then you can think about scaling with other things like content, like paid advertising, Facebook ads, Google ads, you can start reaching out to channel partners, um, uh, other things like that, right? So affiliates, there's so many different ways that you can scale and different growth strategies. But the three things you wanna focus on getting nailed down first is these three things, right? Service, get client acquisition solved for, and delivery. Make sure you got these three things and you can confidently onboard new clients, right? Because if you have a way to get clients predictably and you have a good service that's getting them results, you will feel great about just bringing on more and more and more clients. So that's how you get to five figures per month in 90 days. You're going to, you're going to follow this. You want to make sure if you're not sending 2000 pieces of outflow per month and you're wondering why you don't have any clients, well, you need to do more outflow, right? Uh, and you need to knock on more doors. It's, it's basically like virtual door knocking, right? Sending messages on cold email, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. And that's just the cost of doing business. If you don't want to spend thousands of dollars testing with paid advertising, right? But here we go, five figures per month. This is the actual roadmap. Keep it simple. These are the only three things that you really need to get there. Uh, anything else is just overcomplication or shiny object syndrome, right? If you're, if you're just playing with your website, you're changing the colors on it, um, that's not gonna get you money. That's not gonna get you clients. That's not gonna get you to this five figure per month level, right? So. This is the goal here. We want want you to help you build a six figure business. Uh, if you if you like this system where you are the online middleman, you're not actually doing the work yourself, and you want to grow and scale a business to six figures this year, check out or keep an eye out for my post tomorrow. I'm gonna have a special announcement tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific. Keep an eye out for that if you want to build a six figure business selling other people's services. Uh, but yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, make sure you're also paying attention to outflow here. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them below. I'll get to them ASAP. All right, take care.